Jimmy at the uh, line of scrimmage. This is where we're, we're apt to see him. Uh, this is more of a soft press, but I love this uh, coverage here. They're going to uh, try to get Jimmy on a double move. Watch the receiver sink his hips here and um, either fake some sort of inside uh, route or some kind of curl. And Jimmy's just right all over, all over that, follows him, watches his hips, squeezes the receiver to the outside, and uh, is able to get in position to uh, cut the receiver off, stack him a little bit there at the end, and make a play on that football. See that? Great position. Continues to squeeze the receiver toward the sideline. Uh, turns and finds the football, too. That's great to see. See Jimmy finding the football in the air? And he's, a, he's in position to make a play on that football instead of the receiver. Uh, watch it from the beginning. It's great coverage. You see Weddle notice that too. You, you know, Weddle gives him this look at the end. Gives him the uh, thumbs up there, as it were. There we go. This is a wonderful play by Jimmy, and, it, and it's going to take me a minute to get into it because I want to look at some some other things in this particular play. This is his first. We'll let it run. This is his first interception versus uh, Cleveland. Okay. The first thing I want to talk about, excuse me, the first thing I want to talk about is the uh, blitz that we send. Uh, Ravens love or loved sending this, this corner, or rather this nickel blitz. Tavon, they send him a lot. Uh, CJ comes kind of late, and uh, Suggs makes the combination of what Suggs and, and uh, Tavon does here kind of opens up. Um, right over the right over the tackle, that hole right over the tackle for CJ to come through and pressure the quarterback. Uh, Mo, uh, Suggs is great here. Uh, go, goes to pressure B gap, then the tackle takes him. The, the running back's left with Tavon on the outside. Um, Owasu makes a nice play. You can see Mayfield here kind of turning to the, uh, I guess that's a tight end um, in the flat. That's where he wants to go with the football, at least where he's looking. Um, yeah, I like Mosley on this, excuse me, I like uh, Suggs on this play very much. This is Sizzle here. Um, Judon is exceptional at this as well, these sort of stunts. Uh, but he, he, he kind of fakes to threaten the, the B gap, and then he's going to scrape, and the tackle goes with him, and right up where the tackle was, right about four, CJ comes free. Um, Mayfield's going to force this football, but you can see why he throws it. First, he's, he's got something in his face. Here comes Mosley. Um, let's go back and, and look at uh, Jimmy a little bit. Um, yeah, living dangerous there. You don't, you don't get much more up in a uh, receiver's space <laughs> than you see with Jimmy there. That's cool. Um, right off the ball with his inside arm, he's going to try to get in the chest of the receiver. Uh, the receiver kind of swats him away, and Jimmy's going to bring his right arm around, stick it right in his chest, and carry that for the remaining uh, uh, part of the route. Really holds him up there. Uh, and this is what Mayfield, this is the other part, or the other, yeah, the other part of why Mayfield, I think, throws this. Uh, the receiver effectively kind of shoves Jimmy off, and you see Jimmy bowed off there, uh, bowed over, excuse me. And uh, that, coupled with the pressure that Mosley brings, he thinks he can squeeze this ball. And this is a tremendous play here. Just a, a good indicator of how physical um, a football a corner uh, Jimmy is. And he wins this battle. Really just kind of undercuts this route. Look at him. That's so slick. Steps in front of it. Big play. Big play at a big, uh, in a huge game, uh, clearly. Let's watch it again from the top. That's nice. This play is a favorite of mine. We see Jimmy in uh, run defense here. Um, off the ball, he's reading the backfield. You see him get outside to contain here. He's kind of working outside off this block. Uh, Gordon cuts it back. He sheds, sort of like a linebacker there. You see him get his hands into the chest of the wide receiver. <laughs> and then shed him, work back inside, and then just dive to make this uh, shoestring tackle. You can see there's a fair amount of room if he isn't able to get off this block. Uh, it'll put some pressure on Weddle to make that tackle. Uh, so you see him make a very good uh, instinctive play against the run here. 
Jimmy's at the bottom of our screen. Uh, he's going to jam up the number one receiver here um, and then carry number two, uh, this tight end. Uh, you're going to see him come out of his um, shuffle right there, open up his hips, turn and make a play on the ball, kind of reading the quarterback the whole way. Uh, just a good example of his ball skills. I like the jam he does on one there. Opens up his hips, finds the football, and then looks like he strips it by, by just knocking the arm down. Good play. You're going to get beat on occasion when you're, you're out here living dangerously, and um, once in a while he does. I think here, yeah, you don't want to see him chasing downfield like that. He gets beat off the line. I think here you see him kind of staring in the backfield or peering. I don't want to say staring. You see his eyes go that way. It's possible he gets surprised by the, uh, the uh, ball being snapped early in the count or something like that. You see that? Um, yeah, he's watching. The ball snapped there. So he's kind of, you want his eyes to the receiver. And uh, perhaps they snapped it early in the count. I don't know. But he gets taken unaware. And uh, as I said, you don't want to see him running downfield after the receiver that way. I like how they move these guys around. This is Jimmy and... Uh, uh, watch this play. He just ends up covering a tight end in the flat. I like this play because you get a good look at the Ravens' uh, corners together. Um, nice little fake he gives in here. He's testing the tight end, but he's also kind of trying to pull. The, you see that jab step inside as if he's coming. Uh, he's trying to get that tight end to, uh, to commit inside, perhaps, if he's blocking, so that uh, Judon can win outside there. I think that's Judon. Uh, he's also under this this uh, number two the number two receiver here, and then he sees the uh, tight end uh, to the flat and follows him. Uh, the other thing you see is um, Marlon and Brandon. Really nice coverage here. Marlon gets uh, the guy gets a step on him inside, and Marlon's going to come around and play this ball in front of the uh, receiver, make a play on the ball, and slap it slap it out of his hands. Uh, Brandon in tight coverage there too, and then down at the bottom of the screen we see. Uh, Averitt, Anthony Averitt. So that's a really nice little play just to get a look at four corners um, together. Uh, Averitt, although I don't know much about him, kind of reminds me in certain certain looks of Jimmy Smith. And, uh, you see him getting into the chest of this receiver here. This is Jimmy at the bottom of our screen, right up in uh, Smith Schuster's face here. Uh, the quarterback looks that way and then decides against it. Um, you know, the, Schuster to me, and I haven't watched him extensively, but um, he's not much on the outside. I'm not. I mean, I shouldn't say that, but I'm not concerned about him as an outside receiver. Uh, he's much more effective in the slot and uh, we'll see how that works out for them with him as their number one this year but I, I don't see any uh, problems covering him outside either with Jimmy or Brandon 